Hey there, and welcome back to another episode of This Guy's Thoughts. Always appreciate swinging by the channel, taking the time to check out a video. Uh, tonight, I'm going to review one out of the Dayton Beer Company. This here is the Java Man Cometh. So, this is an American style stout with coffee. It is coming in at, what is the ABV on this here? 7% alcohol by volume and 30 on the IBU listed on the can right there tells a little bit about it right there I'll get to that in a second uh, but first off the artwork it, it's actually pretty cool stuff just greens chocolate right I mean there's a uh, melted chocolate in the background here just everything about this says chocolate coffee stout right here okay uh, and the back says Dark Complex, the Java Man Cometh. This American style stout highlights chocolate malt, coffee beans, and cold brewed highlight or cold brewed Highlander Grog. So Highlander Grog, uh, I believe is let's see here, is maybe uh, the type of coffee or something. I don't know if it's a local Dayton place or something like that. I'm not sure on that. Uh, what else does it say here? The Java Man Cometh will attack your palate with such intense aroma and flavor, you may not escape the dark depth where the beast lies in wait. Enjoy with friends or alone, but always beware. The Java Man Cometh. All right, so very cool. Everything about this is cool. Dayton Beer Company. Um... Another one out of Dayton, Ohio. Uh, another brewery I've actually been to a couple times there. Uh, very nice place like they all are over there. So I'm going to use the Dayton Beer Company um, checker pint glass here. It says, uh, the back of it says, The Dayton Beer Company, handcrafted through, sweet, through sweat, blood, and dedication. So, full disclosure, I've had this before. Uh, just like the uh, the Warp Wing, the 10 ton oatmeal stout that I recently reviewed, um, this I'm actually reviewing them the same night, same shirt, same night, doing a couple Dayton stouts here, Dayton Ohio Brewery stouts here. Uh, this is one that I did review a, a few years back, a couple, two, three years back, something like that. Um, again, I wanted to revisit this. My palate has changed quite a bit. Um, I actually like stouts a lot more than I did a few years back, so. I wanted to go back and, and revisit these again and, um, you know, see, see see if I enjoy them. See if I like them better. See, what, see what's going on with them, okay? You get it, right? All right, so, hey, while I'm pouring this, if you're new to the channel, uh, think about becoming a subscriber. If you are, uh, that is dark. If you are a subscriber, man, I appreciate you supporting the channel. I appreciate you watching the video. appreciate everything about you. Stay tuned. I will have some giveaways coming up as well. All right. So this is a fantastic look. And this is just dark. I don't want to say motor oil. But I'm going to say this is a very dark beer. With just an awesome looking head up on top of this. About a finger and a half. Of just a light brown to a dark tan. Just frothy. Just awesome looking head up on top of this right here. Okay. See right there, look at that beer there. It does look very, very dark on camera. And I'm not gonna lie, it's a dark ass beer, okay? Is it motor oil? No, it didn't pour like that thick motor oil beer, but it, it's pretty damn dark, okay? So, let me get a nose on this. Yeah, coffee, chocolate. I like the smell of the Java Man in there. Yeah, just coffee, chocolate, like a cocoa-y chocolate. Sometimes you get this dark chocolate or this bittery chocolate. I get this cocoa-y uh, sweet chocolate right now. Hmm. I think I might be getting some caramel in here as well. So, hey, heads. Yeah, it's got some nice lacing there, but she's not wanting to stick around too long here tonight. So let's get a drink on this. Mm, okay. So, 
Medium body mouth though, a little bit thinner than I actually thought it was going to taste or that I remembered it tasting. It definitely looks thicker, fuller than it actually feels. So, I get the coffee here. Um, it's kind of a raw, like a raw bittery chocolate, or bittery coffee, like a raw bitter coffeeness. Uh, the chocolate. It doesn't taste like a dark chocolate, but it tastes very much like a sweet chocolate. It has that wet, crisp mouthfeel to it. That you know, but you know the mouthfeel there. It's got a maltiness but not that dark roasted maltiness that you might think um, uh, from the name. I mean, from the name, it's a, it's a coffee stout, right? It's called the Java Man Cometh. Um, it doesn't have that to it. It's very, very good. Uh, just going straight to a score on this. Uh, four out of five all day long, no problem with it. Um, if you like what might appear to be a thinner body, uh, you know, and when I say stout, thinner body stout, I mean medium, like a medium body. It's not like a full body beer. Um, wet, bitter coffeeness to it, and a like a sweet chocolateiness to it. Uh, this might be something that you like here. I definitely like it. I'm definitely giving it a four out of five. And I hope you like this video. And uh, if you've had this before, uh, there's, there's a few Ohio people that watch the channel. Um, if you had this before, let me know what you think about it. Uh, if you're outside of Ohio and you've come across this, it was sent to you, you had it here on a visit, whatever. What do you think about it? Do you remember much about it? What do you think about it? Drop a comment down there. Let me know that. Like always, appreciate you swinging by the channel. If you're new, please think about becoming a subscriber. And if you're already a subscriber, and I appreciate the support more than you will ever realize. Thanks a lot.